Ciao, welcome to Meetspot, I'm Marco and in this video I have the honor to review Methylane Dr. MS, which is a unique special processor, so let's dive into it. So this is the plugin and I know it can look quite nerdy and intimidating at first, but it's really simple. We have the mid and the side and they basically work on the mid and the side channel. And then we have the focus and the field and these are the sections that make this plugin really unique. And focus basically allows us to take the mid signal and inject it into the sides and the field does the exact opposite. So we can take this side and kind of revert it into the mid channel. And this is great because it allows us to recover a lot of mono compatibility problems. So now let's listen to how it sounds. I have three instances in this project, one on the master, one on the vocals and one on the main bass. Also, we will do some A-B testing with a mono button and let's see how much it changes with and without and how much the mono signal changes with and without. We, we are just doing some comparisons. So now we listen to the whole mix with and without Dr. MS. <music> So we can see how more focused yet open the mix sounds with the Dr. MS. Now let's try it with the mono button on. So we can see that with the mono test we have a fuller sound with Dr. MS on and a hollower sound with Dr. MS off. So we have some more phase issues without it. Now let's listen to how it changes between stereo and mono with and without so we can have a better comparison of how it translates. <music> So the difference in this case is way more noticeable and that's what makes this plugin really great because I have some reverbs, I have some detuned bass, so it's kind of hard to maintain the tone that I want and also keep everything with some more mono compatibility. So now let's dive into individual instances. <laughs> So I'm basically using this preset, but with a little tweak. So I have 100, 100, 100 and 100 here, but this is not engaged. And if I have the exact values, this is at zero. So. <laughs> So I basically restored the side from this uh, preset, yet I just recovered some side and pushed them into the mid channel. Uh, so here we have like some filters, we have the input, we have the gain, we have the format left, right or MS and this one makes a difference, so let's listen to it. <laughs> So it's up to you, it's up to your individual necessity and need and you can just choose between left, right and mid side. In this case, left, right sounds great. And here we have these filters. So we have the high pass filter, we have the resonance, then we have another low pass filter, then we have the resonance gain and here we have also delay. 
And the same goes for the other two sections. Then we also have the solo, so... And this is great because you can literally listen to the sides, how they've been ported to the mid chain. So we also have the flip phase in case you need it. So let's try it. So you can set it however you like it. So th this is basically it for this plugin. Only these focus and field things uh, make the whole plugin. It's the real deal, Dr. MS, uh, and it's the reason why <laughs> you want this plugin. So this plugin is not for beginners. Beginners shall kind of learn how to mix and manage the mid side channel first, at least the basics. You don't have to get it perfect, but if you're just starting, you don't want this plugin. If you're an intermediate, you want this plugin because it can help you spot some problems and see how much you can recover them within the project. If you're a professional or like an expert uh, DIY guy, had own bedroom producer or whatever, but if you have uh, some years of experience under your belt, uh, you need this this plugin because uh, I mean it just saves you so much time dealing with those final little tweaks uh, that it's not worth to stress over just going through and digging your project and see what's phasing and going for the MSQ and trying tweaking the unisono on synth whatever trying to monoize the reverb and doing some more parallel side and balancing them it's not worth it this makes life so much easier also because if you are experienced with stereo processing you know how much you have to dial all these settings and i mean you can really get things correct set fixed with very few tweaks and i really recommend using the presets because it makes the process a lot faster you just look for the sound that you want and then you have to take one or two knobs and you are all set so this is a unique plugin nothing else can compare to this i can't really recommend it enough that's it for this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one